This is the Vanguard Alta Pro 2638T tripod. I've had it for over four years. It's really reliable. It's a total workhorse. I liked it so much that my camera right now, it's on another one exactly like this. Attach this plate, lateral adjustment anywhere. Fold this down. It has an extra piece of metal here for durability. Push it down and it locks into place. Push this red button, pull this lever up and it comes right off again. Horizontal front back, Z position leveler. It's also a flatness gauge at the bottom. If you turn it to the left, it will lock the panning mechanism. So you can't move it left and right. Turn this to panorama mode and then you retighten it. It's gonna keep it from going forward and back, but you can still pan it left and right. There's a rotation gauge so you can be more precise with your panning. If you have this locked, you can still adjust it at the bottom over here for a different kind of rotational adjustment. If you turn this knob here, you can allow it to go up and down. Orange shock absorbing grommet, if you accidentally drop it, it'll be a thump here. Sandbag over here, this will give you added stability if there's a lot of wind. Pointed foot, or if you turn it counterclockwise, it can be a softer rubbery foot. At the highest setting, it can reach about 68 and a half inches. Nudge it up a little bit more by closing up the tripod legs a little bit. Do this at your own risk because it's not gonna be as stable. It can reach about 74 and a half inches. This is the first stop. Press it, come up to the next stop. Press it again, you can come up to the next stop after that. Camera can be fairly low to the ground, but if you want it even lower, open it up, press in, and pull out at the same time. Then you put it back in upside down like this, really, really close to the ground. If you want these tripods out of the way, you can just make them as long as possible so then they're further out. Open it up and this whole thing flips forward. Close it back up like so. Another way to use the upside down configuration. This will swing up like that. It can even do overhead recording. Remove the handles. You can attach it to this plastic piece. Stow it on the side of this tripod comes with this case. This piece allows you to stow your handles nicely. Just carry it around like that. If you use it for years, even after you tighten it, it still slides around. You can use the included tightening tool, tighten that nut back up, and now it won't move. The three in the 263AT model number means there's three sections of tripod. You got the 264, which has four sections, which means you can compact it a little bit more so that it's not as long. A means aluminum, P means pan head, B means ball head, GH means grip head. If you guys are interested in this tripod, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Hope this video helps you find your perfect tripod. Until next time.